All right, so I pulled the stuff out. Still, still have a few tools down there and some lesser things inside there, chargers and whatnot, but we got it. The wall tool, the wall tool, the wall brushless set, another DeWalt set, another reciprocating saw, a couple of grinders, another saw. Uh, these batteries, if they work, and we have to test them, but they're about $100 a battery. So this Craftsman looks like it was pretty well used. It's pretty dirty on there. Black & Decker's still in plastic. Black & Decker's not worth much. Have this boss stitch cordless. And uh, this is one of those Gaylords that we really like. Uh, the ones we don't like are the ones that are full of broken toilets. And then this right here is two pallet spaces. So it actually costs twice as much as those tools. We got three toilets. Um, on this load, uh, we pretty much had all broken toilets. There weren't hardly any that weren't. Those three at first glance look okay. These might be okay. Maybe we'll be able to get two of them to work. And there's a tag on there, so maybe a crack tank and bowl we can flop the parts. Um, then they got a door here. And they kind of wreck the door in shipping all the time. And then underneath it, they actually have a, tub. Yeah, a, tub. a bathtub. And then this is how we get a lot of the stuff for a 3 for 10 sale. In the bottom of these Gaylords, all the small stuff just falls through. We've got some, I mean, just weird, weird things. It's like a random wrench. Just little weird junk that really doesn't have a lot, if any, worth. Here's a light. Uh, it looks like it's sealed in box, but again, it was on the bottom of this Gaylord, so the light's probably destroyed. I have a feeling that we are not going to be able to salvage that. This is really light. There's no glass in there, we can tell. So this Gaylord is finished. Got a little toolkit, just a little craftsman deal. We've got this cobalt thing. We've actually gotten several of these. A lot of times the cases break, so then we get them. But you know, complete kits, a light, this lawnmower says it's got some issues, no idea. So there's some good stuff, and then we get literal trash. These are completely shattered, and these boxes, they're just empty and they're literally full of garbage. There's nothing in them. It's just I don't know, maybe their dumpster was full at the store, so they figured we'll throw it on the truck. But lots of stuff like that. And then this is the bottom of the pallet I'm working on. Probably broken vanity light. Lots of little stuff. This is kind of how we get our 3 for 10. There's a battery there. It's probably defective. But just lots of little random stuff. Door locks and there's some little poker sticks for campfires like the Hershey brand I've had those before so I know right what they are got a bunch of these add-on blind sets and then here's the uh, here's the next one uh, guarantee the plastics broke on that so that's trash toilet seats we probably got about 40 toilet seats this load but um, we actually don't mind toilet seats some green work stuff we'll have to test it um, oh yeah, the Greenworks battery, it's got a tag right on the battery, so it probably means, probably means the battery's actually bad, but we'll test it ourselves. And then uh, all the stuff that kind of settles on the bottom here. More little junk, mini blinds. There's a faucet in there and a paint sprayer. Some craftsman thing. There's probably like one bad tool in this set, so we get the whole set. So we're big fans of that. Something gets jammed. Whatever's in there gets jammed. Um, and this is a full kit, so I don't know what they think gets jammed, but a lot of times people just don't know how to use tools. So probably one thing used in there and the rest brand new. And we are almost through all the Gaylords. These are the last two left from the truck. Lots of junk.